This is the Chinese cooking channel called Chinese Cooking Channel. Today we're making chicken chow mein. We're going to put the noodles in the oven and then put the broiler on so you have some crispy noodles. So this way you don't have to stir fry your noodles. It's an easy simple dish. So chicken chow mein, oven style. We're using these fresh noodles. This is a local company called Tuck Fung. I really like these noodles. It's egg noodles. So these are fresh noodles. We're gonna get some really nice crispy noodles for this recipe. So just need to boil the noodles for about a minute. There's a little bit over a pound here. Or 454 grams. So next, just put a bit of oil. I have peanut oil, so put about maybe two or three tablespoons of peanut oil. So you want the noodles to be crispy, so the oil will help crisp up the noodles. Just finish uh, spreading the noodles onto the tray here. So you got roughly two pounds of noodles here. I also like to put some uh, oyster flavor sauce into the noodles. So I'll do that right now. So this is the uh, sesame oil. So the sesame oil is really fragrant. It has a nice nutty flavor. So put about maybe uh, two or three tablespoons of sesame oil here. So just mix that into the noodles. Got the oven going at 375 degrees. So we're going to put the noodles in the oven for about 15 or 20 minutes. And then we'll also put the broiler on after that just to make the noodles more crispy. Preheat a wok at uh, medium heat. About two or three tablespoons of cooking oil. I have peanut oil here. I like ginger and garlic so I'm going to put about three tablespoons of ginger and garlic. Add the ginger and garlic all chopped up. You can put more or less, it's up to you. Just give that a quick stir fry for about 10-15 seconds. I'm going to put some more oil in there, maybe another 2-3 tablespoons of cooking oil. Peanut oil. So I'm going to put the chicken in. So this is the dark meat. So you don't need to marinate it if you don't want to. So this is uh, dark meat, which is uh, more moist than white meat, so you don't have to marinate it if you don't want to. So give that a good sear. So I'm turning the heat on to high right now. I'm gonna put some uh, sea salt in there. Maybe uh, for this size order, you maybe put a teaspoon of salt, one to two tablespoons of sesame oil again. I like sesame oil. So take off the chicken. Now we're going to stir fry the veggies. So I got the, the peppers going in first. I got a bit of celery in there as well as ginger slices. So put the peppers in there. Like a green pepper, yellow pepper, red pepper, and orange pepper. Also there's a bit of green onion in there. The noodles are pretty well cooked already, but I'm gonna put the uh, broiler on it so the noodles will be crispy. So I'm gonna keep an eye on the noodles as I broil them. I got the uh, broiler in the oven going at 500 degrees, so you have to keep an eye on it. So in the stir fry here, I'm gonna put some uh, Chinese veggies in there. You can use uh, whatever veggies you have. You can use uh, gailan, you can use uh, bok choy, or Shanghai bok choy, or whatever you have. I'm gonna put about uh, two or three tablespoons of light soy sauce. So I'll put whatever flavors you like. Some people like uh, spicy. So put more spicy in there. I'm gonna add some water. So you can put about maybe uh, three or four cups of water, depending on how much uh, uh, sauce you want. 
I've got uh, three tablespoons of cornstarch in about uh, two-thirds cup of water. So I'm going to thicken the sauce for the uh, chow mein here. So maybe you don't need the whole thing. I'll just put some of that in first. So the veggies and the chicken is nice and bubbly right now. So there's lots of sauce here. So I like to make the sauce a little thicker. So when I pour it over the noodles, the sauce will cling to the noodles. So you get a real nice uh, mouthful of sauce and chicken and noodles. There's lots of sauce here, so it's really nice here. There you have it, chicken chow mein, cooked in an oven. Enjoy. Thanks for checking out my video. Also get a chance to look at some of my other videos on my channel, as well as be sure to subscribe. And I'd like to thank all my viewers for helping me win the top 20 best Chinese food blogs in the world. And I was also awarded the top 40 best China YouTube channels in the world. And please subscribe by clicking over here.